I'm Mr. Asinga and I'm from the Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department and today I'm going to do a clinical pendulum experiment. In this experiment my aim is to calculate G and compare it to the theoretical G. Here I have a clinical pendulum system. I attached a ball to a thin wire and I also added a little bit of hot glue to the end to make sure the wire doesn't bend as much and therefore I can reduce the errors. Here we also have a power supply. Before actually turning this on, I want to measure the wire's length with a ruler. It seems like it's about 19 centimeters. Now I'm going to turn on the power supply and slowly increase its power. After a few seconds, the bowl starts to spin in uniform motion with constant velocity. After this, I'm going to use the slow motion feature on my phone to measure the angle between the ball and the vertical, and then its period, which is the time it takes for the ball to complete a full cycle. This is a top view of the slow motion video I took on my phone, and as you can see, there's a timer in the background. After looking at this clip, I measured the period to be 0 0.78 seconds. And this is the side view of that video. I use this one to measure the angle between the ball and the vertical. By taking a picture of the last clip, I measure the angle between the horizontal and the ball to be 49 degrees. So the angle between the vertical and the ball is 41 degrees. Here you can see the data that I've collected in a table. This is the formula I've used to calculate the gravitational acceleration. I measured the g to be approximately 9.305 meters per second squared. This is the formula I've used to calculate the error rate. I found the error rate to be approximately 5.15%. And these are the results I've gathered in a table. In this experiment, my aim was to calculate the gravitational acceleration by using the conical pendulum. I held my experiment at the lab by using a conical pendulum system I found at the lab some wire, a ball, a ruler, a power supply, a timer, and a camera. In this experiment, I found a relation between the cosine of the angle between the vertical and the ball, the period of the ball, the length of the wire, and the gravitational acceleration. I calculated the G by measuring these elements. I have achieved a small error percentage, but I believe this error would have been smaller if I had better measuring devices and a lighter wire. I think I've had a successful experiment and achieved satisfactory results.